Jonathan from Rain Brothers here, rainbrothers.com. Today we're going to talk about our little fuse pump saver. Uh, this is a great device if you have a low producing well um, where your well occasionally or often runs dry. You want to make sure to have a pump saving device uh, wired into that, uh, that pump so that it will prevent your pump from burning up and having to replace them. You want to make note uh, of your of your existing voltage on your pump that you're trying to install the pump saver for. We have this model available in 230 volt and 115 volt. Also, you'll want to note your the horsepower of your pump because our standard pump savers are good up to a horse and a half uh, rating on your, on your pump. So if you have a larger pump, let us know. We can get you a bigger pump saver. The wiring of the pump saver is very straightforward. Just like a pressure switch, it has an in and out, in and out on either side of the device. Um, so this gray wire is, is our supply going to the pump. The yellow wire is our supply coming from the panel. Um, we're going to bring line one in, line two in over here, and then we're going to send the load out, L1 out, L2 out on the other side. Um, for mo for if you're using a, a well reservoir system, we have a detailed video on that, uh, but you may need a um, float switch in that case. And wiring in a float switch is very straightforward. Uh, we go into more detail on the well reservoir video, but essentially you're just interrupting the hot leg uh, of, your of your pump supply with the float switch um, right into the, into the pump saver. To start up the pump saver, you're going to want to make sure that um, that there is water in your well. You need to have water in the well so that it reads the load of that of that pump when there's water present. So uh, you're going to wire it in. Make sure that you have water in your well, and then this this pump saver comes already dialed to calibrate CAL. Um, you're going to energize the system and it will go through a calibration mode. It only takes a few seconds. And then when you're done with calibration mode, you're going to simply turn this, this set screw to a duration. We recommend right around 160, 120. That is how many minutes this pump saver will keep the well pump off after the well has run dry before it starts the cycle again and runs the well pump. So 120, 160, that's a good good amount of time um, to wait uh, before the well pump starts pumping again. After that, you're going to just replace the panel and, uh, and put the, the screw in and you're good to go. This pump saver can be installed anywhere in line with the, the, um, the wiring to the pump. It, it can even go outside by your well casing. This uh, pump saver comes in a NEMA 3RX or 3R rated box so it is weather tight you can keep it outside uh, but it is a great device inexpensive way to protect that well pump as always thank you so much for watching this device and all of our other pump products are available on our website www.rainbrothers.com we really appreciate the support we appreciate the business please remember to like and subscribe it really does help us keep these videos going thank you